I think most of us know now that cleansing is one of the most important steps in a skincare routine. And while double cleansing isn't specifically necessary, I do it because I tend to wear a mineral SPF that has a bit of a translucent tint, but I also tend to powder my skin to get more of a matte result. So that's zinc with powder, kind of like makeup. And a double cleanse just like ensures properly that it's all removed. The typical double cleanse that I used to do, and I guess still do sometimes, is using a cleansing balm or a cleansing oil, followed by some type of gel or foaming cleanser. And I think that's probably the most common scenario when people think of a double cleanse. Throughout the past six months, roughly, I've really started to lean into an, and embrace cream cleansers. And I've also become obsessed with cleansing waters. And so I've switched around my double cleanse method, but because it's still using two cleansers, it's still a double cleanse. Essentially, step one, instead of using a cleansing balm or a cleansing oil, I'll use a cream cleanser. And step two, instead of using a gel or a foaming cleanser, I'll use a cleansing water. The main reason for this change is that I've been upping my use of acids and retinoids. So barrier care and just how much focus I've had on maintaining hydration in my skin has like gone up another level. And having a cleansing process that's maybe too thorough or too intense can definitely disrupt your skin barrier and make it harder to tolerate the other actives in your skincare routine. That's not to say you can't be gentle with more of a typical double cleanse. It's just, I think cream cleansers make the whole process a little bit more foolproof. And I pretty much think as a default, if you're starting a strong acid like the Biologique Recherche Lotion P50, you should definitely be using a cream cleanser under it. The main reason for that is just it slows down the kind of impact of the acid on your skin. I think I've had an easier time like embracing cream cleansers lately because just formulations have improved so much over the years. I would say they used to target delicate skin more specifically and they didn't really work that well. Ultimately, you want a cleanser that's gentle, but you still need it to actually cleanse the skin. These days the range of options is just much better and cream cleansers come in a wide variety of price points now too. And there's even some textual variety like some cream cleansers are really rich and kind of indulgent and almost oily feeling while others are more lotion-y, some of them are milky, so there will just be a cream cleanser I think that everybody could find and use and enjoy. When you first start using a cream cleanser, it can be a little bit of a strange experience as they don't really give your skin that kind of refreshed or purified feeling. Even cleansers that claim to have a purifying effect still have a bit of a moisturizing effect at the same time too, but it's actually this moisturizing effect that you're looking for. This is the part of the cleansing process that's I guess replenishing your skin rather than stripping it. Cream cleansers are probably less likely to disrupt just the natural composition of your skin. A lot of cleansing balms have a waxy texture and to me they feel quite superficial. It's almost like they're coating the skin. Cream cleansers also tend to leave behind a little bit of residue, but it's mostly in a way that's like nourishing and moisturizing. They feel protective, not superficial. Now, as you've been watching this video, some people might find it weird that I actually start with a cream cleanser and follow with a cleansing water. This is also probably not the normal like sequence or order of events. I do it this way because my skin is oily leaning and I have breakout prone skin. The cleansing water step is what picks up some of the moisturizing residue left over from the cream cleanser while at the same time refreshing my skin, giving it that kind of purifying, just fresher feeling. And by applying a cleansing water second, it's also acting as a toner. This all just means that I'm rinsing my skin less because the cleansing waters that I use are leave on so I don't actually take them off. To me, this double cleanse method just maintains maximum hydration and moisturization in the skin. Now, having said that, if you have a more dry skin type, you might prefer using a cleansing water or a micellar water first and then following with a cream cleanser. I would suggest that's probably the more correct way of doing it anyway. And some people might even like to just skip a cleansing water entirely and use a cream cleanser as a double cleanse, basically using the same product twice. How many times you need to cleanse and all that stuff is just going to depend on like the efficiency of the of the surfactants in the cleanser and also how much sunscreen or makeup you're wearing. The actual process of using this double cleanse method is almost identical to a typical double cleanse. Most cream cleansers you can start on dry skin, add some water, and then they begin to emulsify, turn milky and rinse off. I then go in with a cotton round and apply cleansing water, basically sweeping it across my face. The nice thing about using a cleansing round is that you do get into areas that sometimes you might miss with your hands. So I find a cleansing round will pick up like sunscreen that's gone into my hairline or around my ears that I just don't really 
get to with my hands. With this process, I'm mostly talking about a nighttime cleanse. Now in the morning, I'm not a fan of just rinsing my skin. I know this works for some people, but personally I need to get rid of the product that I applied the night before. So in the mornings, I pretty much exclusively use Build Skincare Bee Wash. This is a cream cleanser, but it's actually a, but it's actually a microfoam that's developed. So it's not an actual lotion. It's super gentle. And to me, it sort of functions on the skin the way a cream cleanser would. And sometimes I use this in place of a cream cleanser at night or in place of a cleansing water. Bee Wash just kind of fits in both categories and I can use it wherever, whenever. There are a few downsides to this double cleanse method. The range of cream cleansers, although it has improved a lot, is still not the same as the range of cleansing balms and cleansing oils. And from what I've seen comparatively, cream cleansers probably tend to cost a little bit more. They also may not be the best option for heavier makeup. Ultimately, you don't wanna get into a cleansing routine where you have to spend too much time cleansing your skin. That's not the goal either and cleansing waters that can be left on the skin also tend to be a slightly higher price point but the benefit of that is that they tend to include additional skincare ingredients because they are acting as a toner as well and you probably will need to spend a bit more time basically massaging the cream cleanser into your skin in order to get a thorough cleanse so the kind of play time where it is on your skin will be a little bit longer i just mentioned that because this cleansing method isn't really about efficiency it's about having a thorough but gentle cleanse which will take a bit of extra time moving on to some of my favorite products I think Biologique Recherche is truly the category leader in cream cleansers. They don't even offer other cleanser formats. It's just cream cleansers, except they, except for a micellar that they also carry. And this is the brand that actually inspired me to kind of let go of balm cleansers in favor of cream cleansers. It's just the way a cream worked for my skin with Lotion P50 has been amazing. My favorite from the Biologique range would be Le VIP 2 I would suggest that this cleanser is probably the most universal offering from the brand. It's basically known as their anti-pollution cleanser. They also offer a cleanser called Le Domo S. This is considered to be a high tolerance cleanser for more sensitized skin types. And quite recently, they've launched a cleanser for more congestion-prone, oily, oilier skin types called Lay SR. Lay SR has a bit of a different texture. It's not quite as like fluid and milky as the others. And they also have a richer cream cleanser called Lay EV that I haven't tried yet, but I think that's designed for super dry skin. I have a whole stack of other cream cleansers that I enjoy. This is a category that I've really loved exploring. So some of my other favorite cream cleansers include the Ordinary Glycolipid Cream Cleanser, the Bioma Milky Moisture Cleanser, the Stratia Velvet Cleansing Milk, Skin Rocks the Cream Cleanser. This is good because they have both a fragrance and fragrance-free option. The Saatchi Saponins Cream Cleanser, the the Riome, Riome the Rome, the Riome, <laughs> I'm not sure how to say it, um, Three Suns Balm, three suns balm cleanser and of course the la mer the calming lotion cleanser if you're planning to try the cleansing process that i follow which is where i use a cream cleanser first followed with a cleansing water i would look to find a cleansing water that you actually do want to leave on your skin but if you're planning to do it in the opposite direction where cleansing water first followed by cream cleanser then pretty much whatever most cost effective affordable micellar you can find will do something like the Bioderma or Garnier micellars would be great as a step one cleanser and then you would go in with a cream cleanser after it but because a cleansing water is essentially the last step of my cleansing routine and I'm using it as a toner I'm looking for extra skincare ingredients. My personal favorite leave-on cleansing water would be the Kogan Do Cleansing Spa Water, but I also love the Then I Met You Living Sea Cleansing Tonic. Officin Bully Ionized Cleansing Water is a great one as well, and they actually sell like a hyaluronic acid powder that you can mix into it if you want a bit more of a syrupy texture. La Mer, the Cool Micellar Water is a great one if you really want like a refreshed skin feel. And there are a couple like more basic affordable options that I enjoy too. One is the Isdin Micellar Solution and I also love the Bioderma Sensi Biotonic. Biologique also make a micellar cleansing water that I'm dying to try but I haven't bought it yet. I think that will be my next purchase. That's it for this video. Let me know if you have any questions and I'd also love to hear from you if you have any product selections. I'm very keen to try more cream cleansers and more and more cleansing waters so if you have a favorite let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next video.